It's the 2K Sports Pregame Show. This is the NBA on 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson, happy to be here with my partners, Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. Hey, I am telling y'all, man, this boy is going to be a star, man. He made this song. It's so hot. Hey, hey, DJ, DJ, man, hurry up. Come here. What's you got to hear this song, Lil' Jud Drop. It's oh, yeah? so fire. Do it, Jud. Do it. All right, do I got it. you. I'm going to hit you with just the chorus, okay? Ooh, the chorus. Okay. You drop the beat? Yeah, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 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 come on, uh, uh, uh. Young DJ, call me rookie of the year. Do a spin move, might just end your whole career. I'm with Jamie, he's a legend of the game. A legend. Love me, baby, calling out my name. Hey, 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 hey. What is going on up in here? What is, Brandon, get you and your mom out of here right now. Sorry, coach. All right, we got a game to prepare for. I want to see everybody focus here, okay? We have a game in a few. Right. I need to see people watching film, you know? Film, 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 Mentally film. preparing themselves. Okay, gotcha. Get out there and shoot around if you yes, have to. Shoot around. Yes, you coach. Got gotcha, go. coach. Yeah. You're going to be out there. Because, see, that's what I like to hear, Shannon. Because I'm the coach and I make all the rules. <laughs> have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. So is the NBA. Hey, thanks for joining us on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan, and by my side, Chris Weber and Greg Anthony from the sideline. Hall of Famer David Aldridge. DJ has checked in for the Bulls. Chris is a player. When you're looking at your team and how you're playing in these early stages of the season, what are some of the things you're looking for? What, what are some of the compass signs you've got to read here? Well, you're hoping to see tendency. You're hoping to see uh, the culture, which means that your guys are getting to the gym early, that they're practicing, that what you tell them is shoot around, they're paying attention to during the game, that it follows through. A lot of it is more than X's and O's. It's about that culture, that winning culture, where you're doing all the little things. So you want to make sure that everyone is all dialed in, that they're sacrificing, that the team is the most important thing for them in the season. And you can tell that every day by how they practice their routines and then their effort on the court. So sometimes early on, it's more than just the wins and losses. That can be a little deceiving? Yeah, definitely. The wins and losses are deceiving. Throw those out the window because if you're building wins on bad habits, if you're building that castle on sand, so to speak, you're going to get knocked down when you get to play against a really good player. You're just kind of building up extra confidence, thinking of yourself more than you ought to. But I had a great coach always tell me that if you worry about the process, the wins and losses will come. If you worry about the wins and losses, you totally lose control of the process and all heck can break loose. I like that. Well said. So for New Orleans right now, the bigs inside, Davis and Cousins. On the perimeter, Moore and Hill. And it's Holiday in at the point guard. Miritich gets the bucket. I love how Wade actively looks to find the open man. Look, he's effortlessly exploiting any holes in the defense. To the inside, here's Davis. That shot missing. And in Chicago the other way. He's trying to help him add to this lead, but he just can't find his touch. Wade kicks to DJ. And 
DJ throws it down. Well, back before this run in the NBA, DJ was considered a standout prospect in the game. I mean, he took some time off to focus on music, but has now rekindled that love for the game and is making the most of his abilities. And it's DJ with the rebound. And on the glass so far, it hadn't even been close. Kicks it to Miritich. Back to Wade. Outside, Levine. They get it again. And the rejection by Cousins. And the defense of Cousins making his presence known with the quick leaping ability which he uses to block shots. Hill kicks to Holiday. Good, and it's Hill picking up the assist. Holiday's got seven points in the game. There's 47 seconds left to play in the first. The dish to Levine. Over Holiday. Got it. Nice one there from Levine. Levine's got his first bucket in this one. And how about that exhale there? Finally gets one to fall through six attempts. Cousins with a screen on Levine. And Holiday kicks to Hill. Davis sets a screen. Jumper off the screen. Lands soft on the front of the rim and drops. Davis has got his third basket of the night right there. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Levine passes to Wade. Feeds to DJ. Hits the close-range jumper. DJ's got his second bucket tonight. Well, you can't let DJ get comfortable down on the block. He's superb at reading the defense and cashing in deep inside. Up in time, and it's good. But hold on. The officials may want to look at that one on the replay monitor. And it looks like they are going to review the play. The question, did he get the basket off in time? And the footage relayed to the officials from the replay center in Secaucus, I, I, I think he got it off in time. The, re the replay leaving little doubt. They're going to switch the call. There is no doubt, and looking at the replay, that he got it off in time. Well, it's good they decided to take another look at it. I know some folks don't like with an almost entirely new group here. Lopez, he's checked in for Portis. DJ comes in for Markinen. Miritich is checked in for Justin Holiday, And it's Pondexter in for Levine. So for New Orleans right now, Holiday out there with Jordan Crawford. Then there's Solomon Hill. Then there's Etwan Moore. And it's Cousins in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Solid rebound there. And with the score like it is, that's an area where they can't afford to get lazy. Bulls trail by 12. And the New Orleans Pelicans last season with one of the worst offensive rebounding percentages in history. Yeah, I mean, it improved somewhat with DeMarcus Cousins coming in. But I think really it's the team's philosophy, though. They, they value getting back in transition more than they value a chance to attack that offensive glass. And when you look at the Pelicans, it, you got to expect for them to be one of the top defensive teams in the league. You've got the Twin Towers down low, and Drew Holiday is in the top handful, I think, of defensive point guards in the league. Chicago making a switch here. Wade's checked in. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sidelines. Well, guys, the Pelicans do have their challenges, but Anthony Davis remains committed to winning in New Orleans. He said, I love it here. I don't plan on leaving. Yes, I fit into that old school category where I want to try to win where I start my career. That's always been a goal of mine. My goal is to bring a championship here. Kevin? And David, loyalty does go a long way. Davis is a perfect guy to build your team around. He wants to win. He was all alone on that one. Six points for DJ. 
Andrew Holiday at 6'4". Greg, great size for the point guard position. And his height enables him to cover shooting guards. At the same time, he does a great job of keeping smaller players in front of him. Crawford right side. Hands it from downtown. Crawford's got a pair of triples in the second now for the Pelicans. He is dominating this quarter. He sees a soft spot in the D and he's attacking. It. And Mirojic has it in the corner. The basket good off the assist from Wade. Wade's got his third assist on the night. Great job right there by Mirojic using the screen to his advantage. He's excellent at creating space for himself to shoot. Holiday dishes to Hill. Screen by Cousins. Crawford, no one around him. And again, New Orleans with the triple. Yeah, and they're starting to warm up from the field this quarter. Three-second difference between shot clock and game clock. Here's Wade. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. The veteran Wade. I mean, does this guy get Oh, He continues to get it done. One of the best shooting guards of all time. And working, Kevin, themselves to the line here in the second. A nice way to get your offense going. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. 19 seconds left here in the second. Outside Holiday. Pass to Hill. Crawford kicks to Cousins. Off the screen. And he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. Cousins has got five points now in the quarter. One second left. That shot misses. And so it's the New Orleans Pelicans riding a 15-point lead at the end of the quarter. They've got their field goal percentage to thank for that. Thank you, David, for that interview. And we'll see you back here. At well, we're getting back to the action now. It's been a one-team show so far. We'll see if that changes here. Chicago going with an almost entirely new group here. DJ is checked in for Lopez. Bobby Portis comes in for Miritich. Markinen, he's checked in for Quincy Bondexter. And Wells is subbed in for Dwayne Wade. A big group substitution here for New Orleans. Alexis Aginsa has checked in for Cousins. Darius Miller comes in for Hill. Jordan Crawford's checked in for each one more. Rajon Rondo subbed in for Drew Holiday. They've got Markinen. DJ out there with Portis. Then it's Zach Levine, and it's Wells in at the shooting guard position. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. Here's Crawford. He's got 13. Five on the clock. Davis kicks to Ronda. And we hear so much about this being the era of point guards, but you look at the crop of small forwards in the league today. Wow, what a lineup. And, and talk about versatility. There are a lot of good ones out there. Yeah, the NBA has changed a lot. The, the two guard used to be the most athletic position when you think about it with the Jordans, the Clyde Drexler's, other guys. But it's really changed. And really look at the size. Kevin Durant, you know, I, I was always amazed. I'm a power forward at 6'9". He's two inches taller than me, and he can play the point guard. So the game is evolving when you look at Kevin Durant. Durant, LeBron, Kawhi Leonard, uh, Anthony Kupo, Jimmy Butler, those type of guys. When you want to talk about versatility, playing uh, both ends of the floor and being able to score and get buckets, uh, these guys come to mind. Bulls trail by six. Left side, Levine. Launches a three. Here's Portis. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. And look at that. That's just a great all-around play. Getting into position for the offensive rebound. Finishing strong on the putback. Davis sets a screen. And it's Miller in the corner. Off target from outside. The Bulls have gone at a pretty good shooting pace. They're 6-13 from the field here in the third. Here's Wells. Nice spin off the left rim and in. Now just a two-point New Orleans lead. That's his mindset. Attack, attack, attack whenever possible. Miller kicks to Davis. Let's it go from the wing. Count that one. Davis has got 17 now. Wow, he's only going to hit that shot about one out of ten times. And here's Levine. He got it up. He knocks it down, but wait a minute. The officials are getting together. They may want to review this one. 
and not so fast. The officials are going to check that shot again and make sure they got it right before we go to the fourth. And even though, you know, you're thinking maybe we don't need to replay in a situation like this, still plenty of time left in this game, and really it's about getting the call right. And the call is going to be overturned. The second look shows that he did, in fact, beat the clock. Yeah, they're glad they're going to get those points. It wasn't too long ago that they wouldn't even have looked at it on the monitor. But replay's here, and it's here to stay for situations just like that. And at the close of the third quarter, still a close game, and both teams putting up points in a hurry. Pelicans on top, leading by just two. And we're coming right back after this break to get the fourth quarter underway. And a moment ago, inside the huddle with head coach Alvin Gentry. All right, guys, remember what we said now. Hey. We've got a great game on our hands as we welcome you back. The fourth quarter of action getting started. New Orleans in the lead. On the court for the Pelicans, getting the fourth quarter going. Hill and Davis are the forwards. Rajon Rondo is out there with Jordan Crawford. And it's Cousins in at the five, roaming the paint. And it's good coming on the assist by Rajon Rondo. Rondo's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. And Chicago shooting pretty good tonight at 48%. Wells in the corner. Traps in the tray. And from what I've seen and heard, Shammy Wells has gone out of his way to take DJ under his wing in the NBA. Not, not sure if that's the guy you want as a veteran leader, but he and DJ seem to be on the same page. Wells with the steal. Last break, here comes Chicago. Here's Markinen. Another three for Chicago. And that's back-to-back -back threes. The D just seems to be slacking off a little bit. Cousins with a screen for Ronda. The feed to Hill. There's the pick. Davis gets a wide open look. Tried to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. One made three for him for the game. Does he focus closer in? Let's see. Wells with it. Now, DJ. Offensive rebound. And the bucket counts. Three-point chance here. Nice work. So we see the Pelicans get the win here. A narrow win under difficult circumstances, Greg, as the visiting team. It really was, but that didn't seem to bother them. I mean... We'll get them next time, fellas.